I love how like she gets mad at dumb shit, like really, really dumb shit. Like should have put it in there if you knew it was gonna have to get done. Damn. By the end of the 1980s, the world had been lost to the flames of nuclear fire. However, even decades after the apocalypse, one thing still remains. The one thing that never changes, hope. You've been wandering the Badlands for many years looking for your long lost family until you've stumbled upon a well-preserved shelter. After scouting its surroundings, you've discovered that there's a number of settlements and an abandoned military comm center nearby. Okay. Perhaps the settlers and a skilled cook like you could help each other out. Cooking Simulator Shelter, coming soon. Add to your Steam wish list. Mm, well, that seems interesting, you know? But this gonna get copyrighted like it did last time. Can't wait for it in to happen to me. Oh. Yeah, I had to edit all that out last time. The music got copyrighted like by some company that I never even heard of. Hell, I've been copyrighted by a gondola company. I don't even know why. The company wasn't even in existence when the game was made. It makes perfect sense, right? <laughs> oh my god. Copywriting on YouTube is kind of annoying, but at the same time, fucking hilarious. I'll probably end up at some point doing like this YouTube review of copywriting. Showing all the dumb copyrights I get. I mean, hell, I was copyrighted by an invisible person. To this day, they still haven't replied to my copyright dispute. Like, who the hell did it? What invisible ghost did to my copyright thing? Of course, it doesn't really do anything. It, people don't even get paid for it, so it's really stupid to spam copyright claims. If anything, instead of spamming copyright, why don't you work out deals with people? Hey, if you, if you sponsor my, my, my games and get people to buy it, you know... Alright, so this is my career. Don't forget what the hell to do. Um, skip pepper pepper tertions. Let's get right into it. Alright. What am I cooking first? Because I don't forgot to do this shit. So at least four dishes. Ooh. So two dishes with a score of at least three stars. Ooh. Chopped pork chops. So first, let's get the pork chops. Season with salt, pepper, and thine. Hell yeah. Go get me a pork chop. Yo, yeah. Boy, um. Close that. So when I cook, even in real life, you know. How do you fucking use a good prepping board? Just throw a bitch on the counter. Boy, um. Hell yeah. Give me, give, oop. Get rid of that. A bitch on the counter. I need salt. Give me some. Oh, that's horseradish. That's the deal. Well, we on the wrong side. Let's go over here. Bam. Alright. Salt, butter, and thigh. Alright. Pepper. One, two, three, four. Oop. Bloop. Um. Then this is the salt. Nope. Boom, 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 boom. Pie. And thigh. Where the hell is that at? Probably the one I can't grab. Oh, I grabbed it! Ha ha! Boop, 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 boop. Wait, has he got enough? Nope. He needs one more. Boop. Throw that bitch right there. Add to pan sunflower oil 30 milliliters. Throw the fry on each side. Serve with potatoes. Season with salt. Cut potatoes in chunks. Okay. So I need to 90 seconds of each side. All right. Oh. 
Oh god. Oh god, how do I tilt this bitch? Is there a command I can't see? Oh, there it is. Get out of there. Alright. I oh, can turn the right one on. Yeah, I got the right one on. So I need. Thirty. All right, each corner. Yay! All right, potatoes chopped in chunks, baked with sauce. Yeah, food processor. Yeah. So, I shit in there too. <laughs> Is it salted enough? Oh my god. Do 12 grams of salt. And I wonder if I cook this. Will it? Can I throw it in there and cook? Turn this shit on. Oh god, there's potato pieces all over the floor. Oh, I did something wrong there. Okay, okay. Oh god, I gotta flip this. Is it almost done? It's getting there. It's getting there. Alrighty then. Look at that spatula. And it's done. Alright. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Hell yeah. Did that shit perfectly. Need a plate? Bam. How many taters do I need? Okay, well I don't know how many feed chunks I've, I've made it into. What I do know is they're almost done. Mm. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Nice and done. Turn it off. Got this hot ass pan for no reason. Watch out, someone's done. That's annoying. You know I mean, I want this cooked for me in real life. It looks delicious. Look at that. Order up. Three minutes to make that. I did that horribly. Hey, okay. I did you a favor. What am I making? Baked trout. Take a trout, throw some shit on it. All right. 
I'm gonna try out. There's some shit on this shit. Gotta bake it. Might as well season that shit in there. So we need some thyme, dill, and black pepper. All right, give me this shit. Get, get out of here. Me and cooking games just don't get along. You know? I would never season the fish with this shit if I cooked it myself. Yeah. I wonder what happens if I leave those in there. Will they burn? Only one way to find out. Let's burn this biatch down. I probably need to get the bucket. Why do I have propane? What the hell are you supposed to do with propane? Door is a window. I bet you can throw it in a fire and it'll explode. I'm probably gonna ruin my career path just because I can't bake in a tray. Season with horseradish and cut a lemon. Transfer to a plate. Cut a lemon today. Cut it in force. Slice, slice, slice. All right, there yeah, it's in force. I gave it some extra floor seasoning, you know. Alright. Trout is done. It's too hot to pick it up. Gonna grab it on here. Close that. Grab me some horseradish, wherever the hell that's at. I think this is horse radish. I wasn't paying attention. Yep. I think that was the right amount. I don't know. Um, there it is. I think I needed like five of these or some shit. I don't know. I'm deliberately leaving that on because I want to see if you burn the place down. Apparently, I did that perfectly. And I kind of half assed that. Hell yeah. Salmon for life. Salt and salmon. Black pepper drizzled with a little lemon juice. Transfer the plate. Do I even have lemon juice? Asparagus? Bull? Lord have mercy. Okay. Do I need water? Yeah. 1,000 grams of water. I threw my pot away. Oh my god. I think I have another one. Right, what am I, I'm not even supposed to put it in oil at all. Oh, whatever. Salt, no. 
No. Where the hell's the saw? Oh yeah, I left over here. What the hell I was staring at? What the hell's the asparagus? How much of this shit do I need? 80 grams? 60 grams? Let me just play. Like five asparagus. Get a fuck ton of salt too. Twenty grams of salt incoming. There you go. Turn this bitch up. So how would you how would you burn some? How would you burn this motherfucker down? Like, would you take this saucepan and just like pour all of this in there? Eat that in there. Turn that bitch on high. Take this. Put that there. That's perfect dish right there. That is a perfect once in a lifetime dish that you'll never ever get again. And apparently they liked it. Kind of fucking hilarious. My salmon was burnt. I don't care. I'm in the process of trying to burn this down. You like buy like a. I mean, obviously, a firecracker would do it. Will that work? Don't ask. I just felt like trying to blow this shit up. I mean, why not? Hundred dollars in propane tanks. Give me a firecracker. Oop. 
And this was my way of relieving some stress. I wonder if I can kill my own character. No? Can you not kill your own character? Did that work? So I gotta do put them all on the counter. Side by side each other. Like so. One last time, Parker. Cool. You know what? Goodbye. Only one of these explodes? Come on. Can I buy like a bazooka? Um, don't play that music. Let me holler back at the soundtrack. There's other moods, isn't there? No, uh, you uh, don't. Doing my own thing. Let me hear ya holler. That's DLC. All right, never mind. Cooking school. Don't go. What a sandbox. I just mess around this game. I mean, why not? A chew, a chew. Kind of curious to what sandbox cooking simulator would be. I think honestly, if I there was a chef, I'd probably try to blow up the entire restaurant. Terrible, right? I don't know, I don't like people critiquing my cooking. So that'd probably happen. Yeah. Give or take. Where's the sandbox crap? It's taking forever, load. About time. So what are you doing sandbox mode? And obviously there's orders. Where are these things? Oh, frying things. Ooh, a grill? Food processor, yeah. What's this thing? Oh, dartboard. Um, day one total meals. Recipes unlocked. Oh God, everything is unlocked. Alrighty then. Then I start my day.
Holy shit, I have everything. So can I just cook whatever I want? Like, say I want to cook me some. Holy shit, I can't. I can legitimately cook whatever the fuck I want. Do we have ice cream? Is there ice cream? So what we got to cook here? Oh my lord. Lord have mercy. That's a lot of meat. I'm going to make a steak. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out with a steak. Pork shoulder. Beef chuck. T-bone steak. We don't want to like a T-bone steak. Come on, man. Where the river at? Uh, we're going to do... We're going to do a hamburger. With a steak. A T-bone steak. That there, my hamburger. I'm gonna make a scratched hamburger, a hamburger from scratch, my style, and a T-bone, my style. Now I don't know what half this shit is, but you know what I do know is I'm gonna need some some garlic. Yep, gonna put the garlic on the on the steak. Oop, 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 about five grams. Put a little, I'm putting like two, two, two grams of garlic on this hamburger. Boop, boop. All right. Now we need salt and pepper. Here's the black pepper. About five. Oop. Do about five grams on this, on this right here. Cooking with uh, Mr. Marvelous. How you doing? How you doing? Put me some black pepper there. Boop. Um, I don't need sugar. I ain't trying to make a weird fucking shit. Put that back. I need salt. There's the salt. I want a lot of salt on your hamburger, obviously. So I'm gonna do one gram of salt, cause you know, why the hell not? What about five grams of salt on the T-bone? The T-bone, you know, once you flip that bitch. Technically, like you're supposed to season both sides, but we're only gonna season one side. So, one side today. Um, can you change this food processor to cut other things, like to cut my potatoes that I'm gonna fry? You know what? Square potatoes is fine. Whatever. We are going to do one, two, three, three gram potato. 145. We're gonna do a lot of potato. All right. Is there a, like a dicer for French fries in this bitch? Just ain't trying to cut them by hand. Hell no. All right. Well, we need. We actually, need one of these. We have a griller over there. We have spatulas. Hell yeah, I got spatulas. Hell yeah, I do. Now the real question is, what else do I got? How big are the pot and the uh, the plates do I got? Ooh, we got a big fucking plate. We're gonna put the big fucking plate for the hamburger, and we got a big plate for the steak. The first thing first, do we have bread? The hamburger buns? That would be that'd be really nice. Hey, look, we got a keg. Or a dark beer. Uh, where's the bread? Now we're gonna need cooking oil. We're gonna need some. We don't need that. We don't need that. We need some olive oil. Yeah. It's an olive oil for the steak. No, we we'll use the grill. We'll use the grill for the steak too. We'll use the grill for the steak, and we'll use the grill for the hamburger. Right there, we need bread though. Can't make a hamburger without bread. Kind of retarded. Um. Okay. Mm well, I don't think I'm going to be making a hamburger if I don't have bread. Where the hell the bread's kept? Do I have to make the bread by scratch? You make bread. Mm. 
I need bread. Do I have to, I have to like, literally have to make the damn bread? Is that what you're telling me right now? I'm going to take some flour, the red shit, and the oven. Okay, so... Alrighty then, so there's no bread. Um... Oh, this shit. Oh, noodles. Put it back on the floor. So we don't got bread, but we got beer. Alrighty then. So it looks like it's going to be a steak stir fry. Okay, I can't make a damn thing. Okay, grilled T bone. Shouldn't take too long. Alright, we got this thing here. Um, yeah, so I can't really. Yeah, okay. Well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need... Don't need tomato. Don't need cucumber. We need... Red bell pepper. We need an onion. We need... Yellow pepper and a yellow bell pepper. All right. I love the sound of sizzling, 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 sizzling. This. Sizzle, sizzle. Is what I'm talking about. That makes my job easier. Easier than the lemon squeezy. Heck yeah. No! Did you just grab it, please? That works. There we go. Lord. That's going to cook. So now we got this. So we're going to take this olive oil. We're going to pour. We're going to pour about 20 milliliters all up in that bitch. All right, and then we're gonna take that pan, put it there. Going to oop. Going to take this and then dump it in there. Now, dump dump that in there. Check it out. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, all right. Boom. All right. In there, turn that on. T bone is done. Perfect. All right. Well, that's cooking. Um, we need some rice. However the hell you make rice. Oh, look, bread. Well, that's too late. Get out of here. I need some rice. I need to make some rice. Actually, you know what? Let's have some potatoes.
Can you cook? Thank you. I have potatoes over here. Where's my processor? Oop. We're gonna have fried potatoes. Let's do fry. Because I just want fried potatoes. Boop. Alrighty. Turn that on. How's my stir fry looking? Oh, he's a little crispy, getting a little caramelized. Getting those little caramelized onions. Throw that shit in there. You know? Gotta cook them somehow. Caramelize and onions once the bell peppers are cooked, the onions will be nice and caramelized. Alright, that's done for now. Alright. Now, I probably shouldn't pour this fucking thing on top of this because it's gonna fucking pour all the oil. Yep, there it is. All the oil just went on that plate. Yeah, tons of oil. Yep, look at that. Olive oil, 9 milliliters. Yep. I throw it in there. That's awesome. I have to now. <laughs> That's cool. Well, that one's gonna burst into flames. Already. Definitely can't recover them potatoes. So we're gonna get a lot of potatoes. We're gonna we're gonna get some potatoes. We're gonna get some the whole ginger. And more potatoes, okay. The odd and french fries cook and burst into flames because I can't save them. Um, yeah. Don't ever try this at home, kids. I already promised you this is all wrong. So good with Mister is not a good thing, although I can cook. Uh, yeah, I can. Scary, I know. But, you know. It is what it is, okay? I will burn down. I will burn down a cooking joint easily. Um, hell yeah! Look at that! Look at that! Perfectly did it this time. Woo! All right, throw it in there too. Fuck it. I gotta spill it, man. That's annoying. Put it in there. Can you not put it in there? Alright, so we're gonna have to cook our potatoes like that. They're not done at all. Well, let's go fucking put more shit in there. Let's go ahead and go ahead and just grab all this. What a do. Oop, oop. Hell yeah. I'm wasting it though. Now I'll get my bucket and get it in the bucket now. I can't have beer, it'd kill me. This is kind of funny to me. We're getting in the bucket? Yeah, buddy. Ah, I'm getting in the bucket now. 
Yeah, we're gonna pull that bucket up. How's my food coming along over here? Oh yeah, let's let's go ahead and serve this because this is basically trash and it's done. Can I serve this? Yay! Nobody ordered it. Serve it anyways. Oh god, no. Serve it. Well. You know what they say. Throw that shit in there. We're making some specialty drink. We're making some, uh, some specialty stuff here. Uh, yeah. Alright. We got one fourth, uh, potato, one fourth potato. You know, I just realized you can like just take a bunch of random shit and put it in here. I wonder if I can like put some glass in here. Yep. All right. Let's let's put some glass with some tomatoes and everything else. We can't make any recipes for people, so let's throw all this shit in here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Some oranges. I call this glass marmalade. Of course it won't break. Alright. There we go. Come on. Let me get this shit in there. Aha! Get in there. Yeah, glass manade's gonna be made now. Alright. Last finishing touch. Pour it in there. Alright. Boom. Yeah. Can you throw this in there? Or a propane. Uh -uh. No sorry, Bob. He shoots. He misses. He shoots. He got it in there. Yay. And for the final thing I'm going to do because holy shit there's a blowtorch hell yeah yeah oh god there's a fire there's a fire Can I burn you? I know how to put this out. Ah, did that work? I don't think it worked. I think it just made it worse. Let's help. We burn my burner more than meets the sky. Woo! Then help. Oh God, you can break windows. I don't even care if you can just walk through the the fire. Yeah. Turn that shit off. So I'm kind of curious as to why when I turn the sink off it just stopped up burning. I don't want this fucking thing. I wanted the gas bottle. Thank you. I want to burn this place down. can you buy
Well, I think I can buy as many as I want. I'm gonna have to like, throw like a torch in there. A little torch. Will it light it? I mean, clearly, the fire extinguisher doesn't work. Stop it off one Halloween candle. Spooky, scary, scary turn. Do -do 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 -do. All right. Spooky, scary, scary man. Get up in there. Really, the glasses prevent you from getting in there. You know, go ahead. Just you know, advanced controls this shit. And rotate. And throw it. Oh, hands in the way. Yay! You know, it's gonna be awesome when I'll eat the damn fucking blowtorch in there. Get in there. And the last thing you need is a blowtorch. Get in there. Get the hell in there, thank you. Well, I didn't mean for that to happen, but, uh, okay. Well, throwing a blowtorch on the ground starts fire. After it's been turned on. Boop. Yay! Black fire. He burns majestically. Hey, sprinklers, don't you turn on. I don't want you to turn it on. Why do you turn on? Why do you turn off the sprinkler system? I want to burn this place down, but how do I turn the sprinkler system off? Maybe I'll turn all these modules off. I'll give you no power. No power. No power. The best. Around, gonna burn everything down. I'm gonna take it for that burned all my vegetables and shit. Oh, there goes all the vegetables. Refrigerator. Ooh, look at that beautiful fire. There's all the supplies. 
I didn't think this through. Are you putting out my fire again? Stop doing that, damn it. Turn off the fire. The uh the water system, shit. I don't want I want to watch my beautiful fire, damn it. Stop cutting on. What the hell just happened? Stop that! So I move quick, maybe. Oh shit. Um. So how do I uh, order things now? Cause uh. Oh god no. Order menu. Oh god. Uh well no. No, not having already. Where's the steak one? Where's the awesome steak ones? Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. Um how do I repair my restaurant? Oh shit. Oh there we go. Hey, fix my restaurant, bitch. No, I still had the blowtorch. Cool. And the best around. No one's ever gonna keep me down. Yeah. Hurry up. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. -ya. Burn it all down. Of course, as soon as fire gets too out of control, it just turns this to fire extinguisher system turns on. I wish there was a way to break that. You know, because that would be, be kind of cool just to burn the entire place down. So I like fire, pyromaniac. Can you like throw this shit in there and it just like bursts into flames? No. So how would you turn off the fire system? Like, cause it kicks in like at the worst possible times when you're having, having fun. Damn it! No, oh, I don't broke that TV there. And the best here. Wait, that's what the barrel's for. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. Yeah, get out of here. Break the clock. There's a canister up there. Oh shit, there's another one. There's so many damn TVs. Kind of break. Hey, yeah, get out of here. Where's my blowtorch? There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. Okay. Another blowtorch right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Will the fire extinguisher system kick in? Will it? Will it? Oh god. Of course it did. Yes, burning in potatoes. Break these damn plates. I think I finally successfully did it. That was did the fire extinguisher just explode? Well, I mean, I destroyed all my barrack boxes, so I really don't really have much left to do. I got one more thing to break here. In the best around. Where's my blowtorch? Where's my blowtorch? Give me this one. In the best around. Yo. There we go. Did it break? Nope. Can't break the computer. Got it. Can't even break the windows. I mean, you can't just God. Unkillable. Oh shit, I got a refrigerator door. <laughs> Wait, can you cook the meat by burning the floor? As it is, I'm going to learn the video. <laughs> oh my god, you can. You can cook the meat. Lord have mercy. That's how you cook in style. You just burn everything down. Let's see if it's done when it's done. Oh, look at that. It counts as oven and grilling, apparently. That's a beautiful fire, though. They did a good job with the fire effects. You would think at some point that the uh, um, the fire extinguishers would run out of oomph. I want to cook everything in the fridge at the same time. There we go. Oh, look at that. My roast beef is done. Yummy. Mm. 
My god, I still have one canister. Hell yeah. Let's end it. Burning the canister. Best around. Gonna stop me now. Nothing gonna stop me now. Nothing gonna stop me now. Okay, I guess it ain't gonna explode. Really? Dude, just explode. What the hell are you doing? You got a horde of. Oh, there it is. The best around. Spatula. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what I need to do? Here you go. Here you go. Cooked pork shoulder for the liking. Uh, the shrimps, fish shrimp have a pork shoulder. Um, shit. Uh, oh my god, flavors are perfect. Floor flavors. Fried shrimp technique was nothing uh, of what they wanted. You know what? You know what? I have one more fried shrimp. One more fried shrimp. Where's shrimp at? All right. We're gonna we're gonna call this. Um, we're gonna do five of them. This is my my specialty called floor shrimp. All right. And how you cook floor shrimp is very obviously simple. That's how you cook floor shrimp. You cook it real good. Okay. Okay. Gotta crouch down. Gotta hear it sizzle. You know. Throw that shit in there. Throw that shit in there. Oh shit, it's cooking. It's cooking guys, it's cooking. Hell yeah, we got that floor shrimp cooking. Now, when you cook floor shrimp, it takes a few times. You never know how many times you're going to cook this shit. Get your plate, put it on a dirty ass counter. Now floor shrimp is the best shrimp to possibly eat, okay? All right, how we how we doing? How we doing on the floor, shrimp? How we how we cooking? Uh, we got we got a little bit more. Got a little more. Let's light it. Let's light the oven back up. And you know what? While, while we're doing orders, you know, we'll, we'll go ahead and do a do some bullshit. We'll, we'll do two order of those. And now, when you do those, you got the damn roasties over here. You throw that shit in there too. And we, uh, we, we need two of those. So we're gonna throw both of those in there in my floor fire here. I mean, my floor oven. I mean, my uh, my special cooking techniques. Um, but I need some taters. Throw that shit in there. Uh, yep. Let's go ahead and throw some whole garlic in there too. Uh, and an onion. Gotta have the spices, you know. Gotta have the. Oh, gonna need those beetroots too. All right. Got a little nose itch there. All right, we're looking pretty good after this one. Gonna set. Gonna set the the oven starter down so it doesn't, you know, start. Oh God, it started more oven. Oven started down. Thank you. So either this done should have the shrimp. Shrimpy should be done. Come on, gotta turn the oven off. Thank you. Turn the oven off. Thank you. It's appreciated. Cause I gotta collect my shrimp before it gets overdone. Alright. And this is what we call fried shrimp. The best recipe. Look at that. Bam. Now, if they don't like that, I don't. I don't know what to. Do. Oh, look at that. I got cooking points. <laughs> All right. 
So we need to light this up at least one more time. One more time. All right. Get that roast nice and done. Light it one more time. One more time. There we go. Oven lit. Roast should be done. Need two two plates. Go ahead and get my plates nice and heated. Play. All right. One of these will get ginger, one of these will get lemon. I'm, I'm heating up my plates, because, you know, everybody likes a nice hot food. Mmm. Sound of good cooked food. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Cue the uh, engine exhaust. There it is. Got a little too high in here. All right, all right, we're looking real good. All right, how'd I roll? Oh, that roast is nice and cooked. All right, we got an onion for it, we got a potato, and a beetroot. All right, let's go see how we did. They should really love this roast. I got a five star. Oh, oh my god, I lost a lot of points. But I didn't like that one. Let's see how the other critique liked this one. We're going to have an overly cooked potato with uh, some, some cilantro, some chives, some dill, and seasoned with all the good stuff. All right. Let's see how he likes that one. I'm going to go ahead and put that one out. Uh, he did not like that at all. All right, all right. I got one more tip. One more tip to me. We're gonna cook this duck barbecue, uh, Dunkel's Mary and barbecue chicken. All right, so we're gonna need some barbecue sauce. Oh snap! So we're gonna need some chicken. All right, all right, chicken leg. I got a chicken leg. Gonna go ahead and set that on the the oven. Um, where the barbecue sauce at? Well, I lost apparently everything in my great great oven. Um, radio. So when you don't have no barbecue sauce, you gotta make yourself some barbecue sauce. So what you do is you take a pumpkin. Uh, that might be too big. Might have to cut that in pieces. Uh, boop, boop. Is that bitch in there? All right, all right. Uh. Okay. Rotate. There we go. All right. We got. I forgot to turn it off. We got the pumpkin. Pumpkin marmalade. Um, spilling it everywhere because it's overly full. Oh, God. Don't need. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I wasted it all. Oh, well. Whatever. All right. So, in order for this to work, you need some potatoes, you need some beetroots. Uh, onions, some oranges. Oop, you need an orange. You gotta have some citrus flavor in there. And you need an apple. Tomato, tomato. Alright. So, with all that, you take, you turn this on. This is how you make your barbecue sauce now. I'm telling you. Uh, you, you learn how to make genuine. Uh, I don't go down. Oh, there we go. Genuine barbecue sauce, okay? Now what we what we do we throw that bitch all right we take our little leg we drop it in there all right so it's gonna marinate in that go marinate in that genuine barbecue sauce all right let's start the fire I mean the uh, the oven oven is now on all right all right I'm gonna put that in the middle boo now that chicken leg in that big pot should cook very well. Oh shit, did I lose my spice? I lost my damn spice. Son of a bitch. Well, that totally that chicken leg is nice and marinated. Uh, got shards every damn where. Alright. But sometimes you gotta go a little fresh style, you know? I'm gonna, gotta pick all of this, right? A lot of fire's getting good. Okay. 
Okay. All right. No, I don't want to. I want to rotate that shit in the fucking pan. Dang nabbit sazin frazin. Look at the pan. Anyways, back to round. Like this bitch on fire. Now we're gonna cook this one more time like this. Now all the sage and everything. Gonna gonna cook up real nice with the uh, the chicken leg. Okay. While that sizzles up real good, we can get the plate. Now we do need we do need a few, few potatoes. So now I need to find the, the fucking thing I exploded. But the, well, you know what? When in doubt, use a plate. All right, all right. Gonna take two potatoes. in there put it in there all right go ahead and just drip. all right go grab go grab a few potatoes because that, that meat's gonna be nice and good but you want surprise when you barbecue you know you want you want surprise when you barbecue I got it. everything's looking real nice real nice all right oop 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 All right, all right. Gonna throw that. Ooh, gonna put that back in the pot. Now, when you're cooking on the floor, I mean, uh, in my new oven, my new and improved oven, you just gotta make sure that you start it in the right spot. All right, you can't just really nilly it everywhere. Yeah, and that should be the last one. Now, while while my floor, I mean, my oven cooks nice and good. The entire kitchen's an oven, you know. Especially when you have a nice working exhaust system. So, you know, you gotta keep that floor nice and spick and spam though. I don't think they wanna order a TV. Can you can you fucking give them a TV? No, that would have been great. Alright. Now we're almost done here. The last most perfected meal of my entire life. My chicken's done. My potatoes are pretty much done. All right, all right. Now we just gotta take all of this and pour it on that plate. We got bay leaves. We got all sorts of shit. I mean, good stuff. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. You know. This is my number one barbecue amalada on the French fry of the Dumilagama. I beat that, and you know, I'm gonna get good stars. Good star. Look at that. Look at that good star. Holy shit. I got a good star. I actually got a cooking points. And that is how you cook in the world. I'm glad everybody needs to learn something new. Make sure that you only try this in cooking simulator. Don't try this in the real world. Because you're gonna burn your house down. I mean, uh, you know, if your floor.